Does everyone like the Twitter screen? Did you guys notice what that is? That's good? Good on the Twitter screen? Okay, good. So, Chairman Martin, it's an honor. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's, uh, it's really great. Um, I figured we'd start out by talking about what is perhaps uh, the most discussed uh, area in the media that, 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 that comes to mind when you think of FCC, and that's net neutrality. I figured now that you're out of office, and I mentioned before we've had uh, Michael Powell when he was out of office, FCC chairman, also have, always have really innovative and interesting things to tell us. So what can you tell us about net neutrality? Well, I think the <laughs> services, a, a Title I information service, but try to balance it with some of the net neutrality thinking that was going on at the time, the modification of some of the uh, proposals that were put, in, were, were put forth. Um, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of concern, and indeed, the uh, the current chairman initially said that, no, 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 we need to go back to the Title II regulatory classification, one that was going to be much more of a telecommunication service. But in the end, what he adopted in terms of a net neutrality approach was very similar to what the Commission had actually done uh, back in 2005. And so I, I think that trying to find a right balance where you're trying to make sure that you don't have rules put in place that are going to provide a disincentive for people to deploy uh, new equipment and new services, but at the same time provide for some basic protections so that the people that, that are running the networks can't become too much of a bottleneck, both to new technologies and to uh, where the you know, customers want to go, I think is important. And I think you need to find that right balance. And I think the idea of a, of a lighter regulatory approach under Title I, a case-by-case -case adjudication where the two fundamentals of what I had proposed, I was actually, ironically, there were a lot of people uh, that, that are now saying that they like what the chairman did, that, that, that uh, I think were opposed to it when we had taken that same approach. So I think that, that um, that's the first thing that I would note. I think that the second the, uh, you know, uh, thing that would draw my attention, I think, is that while it's certainly better than a Title II approach, I think that, the, that it's probably a little bit more prescriptive than it needs to end up being, um, while at the same time creating a, a kind of uncertainty, I think, in Marketplace. You've already seen that there's several carriers that, that have um, that have filed suit. Um, there's there's uh, already complaints that are being filed against uh, you know uh, or, or and asking the FCC to investigate against one wireless carrier. And so I, I think that you know we haven't seen the end of the discussion. And indeed, I think that the, the order may not have you know resolved any 